Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Bolton here today with a, another video. Today guys, we are going to be doing a Q&A video of which I asked you guys to ask me some questions in my previous video that I uploaded a couple weeks back and um, girl, did I get some good questions like girl. I am just gonna like cut to the chase. I'm just gonna answer all of your questions. Um, some questions I'm probably gonna go into a little bit more detail about as other questions I'll probably just give like yes or no answers to. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video as I think as well it's gonna kind of give you guys a more of a sense to get to know me a little bit more too. I've kind of answered some of these questions in my videos already, but I guess I'll just be recapping them for you. I've got some new questions as well. And yeah, this is gonna get juicy, honey. My eye literally will not stop twitching. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Okay, so the first question is, what is your one greatest success and failure? And what did you take away from them? Um, I would say my greatest success would probably have to be having to deal with a lot of stuff on my own. Um, that can probably sound really cliche in a lot of my videos I mentioned about doing a lot of things on my own. Um, but generally doing a lot of things such as my transition on my own has really made me the most independent person like ever. Um, it's taught me a lot of life lessons. It's taught me so, so much. So um, I would say probably having to deal with a lot of stuff like that growing up is probably one of my biggest successes because it has generally made me the person I am today. Um, one of my biggest failures in life, I would say, is probably just letting people treat me like shit. Like, Growing up in school especially, I was just, I had no confidence, I had nothing. If someone were to literally push me around, I would literally just let them do what they want and I just wouldn't even fight back. And I would say now I've kind of grown into like a mature adult, um, I would never let anyone treat me like that. Um, so I would say one of my biggest failures is just not being confident in school. I am so much confident now, so I guess I kind of relate to that a little bit from when I wasn't. Next question is, who and or what is your biggest inspiration other than yourself? Um, I would say my biggest inspiration is probably my mum. My mum is honestly, literally just means everything to me. She is someone who I really look up to and someone who I just look up to for like strength and things. She's been through so much. I mean, we all have as a family and um, I would say she's honestly just like my hero. I honestly look at really strong like figurative women as well, like people like Lady Gaga, um, like just like strong, powerful business women I just love. And I just literally find them so inspirational because hun, you don't need a man to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Next question is, what is your biggest dream in life career wise? Um, I would say right now career wise, this is something I wanna do. I wanna keep inspiring people. I wanna keep sharing my experiences. I wanna keep, um, keep my viewers, I guess, educated and everything. That is something I want to do as a career. I've always been interested in well in like modeling and acting and things like that. Like I did drama at school and I literally loved it. I got like A stars and like everything, honey, not to brag. But um, I, yeah, I love drama. I love things like performing arts. So maybe something like that, I would literally love to do. Um, but yeah, I guess all you can do is just follow your dreams, girl. I need some fucking water because my mouth is getting so dry. <sighs> Next. Are we still recording, girl? Yes, we are. Girl, I look so fucking good today. Look at my makeup. <sighs> Would you date an older man? Yes, the only guys I date are actually older men. I do not date anybody my age just because I don't like the level of maturity that they're at. So I tend to date guys over 25, maybe over 30. Um, so yeah, I would date an older guy, but nothing too old. Like anything over 40, no. 
Why do trans women tempt fate that things will go bad and end up as a disaster when dating? This is a really good question because I can relate to this question a lot. I would say, um, again, not I don't want to speak on behalf of trans women, I'm just speaking on behalf of myself. Um, I would say um, the reason why we always think things are just going to end badly is because they normally do. And, you know, we myself have, you know, I have a lot of fears into, um, you know, is this guy going to stick around? Is he just going to, is he just with me for like a fuck you know is he just wanting to experiment and we have all these anxieties that we go through in our heads or that i go through in my head and that makes me feel oh this is just gonna go wrong um so i would say it's probably just natural for someone like myself to just do that because it's a frequent thing that just happens in society and again that's what that's what I'm faced with a lot of the time. I'm faced with the anxiety of, you know, oh, what's gonna happen? They're just gonna, you know, go away after a while. Next question is, are you single and what's the update? Um, yes, I am still very much single. My Prince Charming still hasn't come to take me to LA and give me, or whatever, and give me the amazing life I deserve. I'm kidding. Um, yes, I'm still single, guys. Um, the update, I would say, I've been dating recently. Um, I've been meeting up with guys but it honestly just hasn't been anything too serious. It's just getting to know people, but they've literally none of them have really been my, like for me. So um, yeah, I'm still very much single. Are you upfront with men with telling them you're trans? Guys, this question I want to clarify. In my video I made last year about dating, everyone has been backlashing me and saying, oh my God, like you're so awful for not telling guys that you're trans, blah, 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 blah. I need to reiterate that answer and say, I never used to be upfront with guys. Like we're talking maybe like three years ago, I was never upfront with guys because I was too worried. Now, however, I will not meet a guy, date a guy, nothing if they do not know about my situation because I literally cannot deal with the pressure of just having to constantly tell a guy, you know, or to have the worry of what they're going to be like. So I will always tell a guy before I date them, go out with them. If I'm dating online, it will be on my profile. So anyone who isn't into it won't talk to me, you know? Um, so yeah, that's basically what that is. How old are you? I am 20, darling. What is your nationality? So I am half English. My mum is English and my dad is from Pakistan. Although I would really like to do one of those like ancestry kits because I really believe that I have like some other like culture in me or something I really don't know, but I just want to try it. I'd love to give that a go I think I, I I'm pretty sure I have like some kind of like Arab in me or something I don't know, but I would I would just love to find out somehow. How long has it taken to grow my hair? Um, so it's taken me since basically coming out if that makes sense I used to have really 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 long hair that used to literally almost reach my bum like when I finished secondary school I just kept growing it after um, through college as well I was growing my hair um, and it got to a point where I literally hadn't I didn't really want to cut it I just literally used to just let it grow and it got to a point where it got so dry and dead and like ratty and like gross that I had to literally like cut it to like here um, you'll see a picture on my Instagram if you scroll all the way back I really did give it a like good cut and it's just, I've just been growing it out since then and just looking after it going for regular cuts um, so yeah it's taken me a long time good couple years been on HRT I have been on HRT since 2015 January 2015 so that's four years now current views on you having SRS um, guys my current views on having SRS still remains the same. If you've watched my previous video, um, you will know what my views are. Um, I am very much certain that I will really ever be in a situation where I want to have it. Um, it's not something I want. I'm so happy with myself. I have no dysphoria with that part of my body at all. Um, so I literally can't even see myself having it done in the future, neither. Like what i have like just me is just like my whole identity and i feel if i were to have srs it would be like taking 
part of my identity away you know so i am in no obligation to have it done and i really can't really see myself going through that and having it done so facial feminization surgery no i have not had any surgical procedures at all to alter myself uh, tattoos have any meaning to them guys my tattoos um i guess i would say they do at the same time but they don't like i love my tattoos. i love tattoos i love things like that um but i would say i just really like my tattoos because i just like the way they look i really love them however if someone asks me what do they mean i will always say it just means something like being powerful and like empowering like i have a lot of roses tattooed on me um have like a tattoo of marilyn monroe here um again it just all comes with like being powerful and i just love I love to show that and I guess it always does kind of come back to my transition as well and just how powerful and brave I had to be so I guess it kind of all represents that. I do have like an Arabic tattoo here, I don't think I've ever shown you guys, I don't know if you can like see it, it's kind of like here, anyway. Um, but that means freedom in Arabic, um, obviously you can figure that out, um, so yeah. This is one of my most asked questions as well. So, how do you sound so feminine? Have you had surgery or lessons? Again, guys, I have had no surgical procedures to alter myself or my voice. I've had no lessons to alter my voice at all. I, again, I'm so lucky with the way, you know, my voice has been growing up it's never deepened like i started hormones at a very early age and that's probably maybe why my voice hasn't dropped as much because i'm like my voice is obviously quite high i'm not very low um so i literally started hormones during or just after I finished secondary school. So obviously I'm still in like the puberty stage and I think I was a little bit of a late bloomer as well. So I think it kind of cut everything off until I could truly like have my voice deepen. So I'm very thankful it hasn't turned out that way. Um, and it kind of, it's really funny because like when I tell someone I'm trans, they always think, oh wait, like are you, are you wanting to go into like being a male and I'm like no 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 like it's the complete other way around and I always find that really interesting and as well guys I get people say to me oh you're lying about being trans like you do not look trans or sound trans like you can be trans and look amazing and sound amazing you know just because and be very very feminine you know it just it doesn't matter and in a way it kind of frustrates me when people say that to me because the amount of hard work i've had to go through with myself and then people saying oh you're lying is very like fuck you bitch you know like girl okay any other trans vloggers i would say yes and no i don't really tend to invest my time in other trans vloggers not for any particular reason um but I tend to watch people like Jeffree Star. Um, I watch like some gaming channels as well because I, I just, you know, if any of you ever heard of Dashi, like he is just the most funniest guy on YouTube. I literally want to marry him. Um, yeah, I'll literally watch him all day. So they're the kind of like people I tend to watch on YouTube. Uh, question is what's best to wear or avoid at the gym and should you tuck if you plan to do squats? What are the do's and don'ts for gym wear? This, guys, is a really, really good question. Um, obviously, trans person going to the gym can be a little bit daunting. I myself do not actually tuck. Um, I never, ha I've, I've tried tucking once actually, and it was horrible. It was just so painful. I would never do it again. Um, my private parts aren't big at all as well if that makes sense so i don't really have to tuck all i have to do is just put on some like tight underwear and it just looks really kind of like flat anyway um so when i go to the gym i no i would never ever tuck going to the gym um it, again guys it is just what you feel comfortable with doing obviously if you're working out you're going to be sweating especially if you're going to be doing weights and stuff um you don't really want to be having like a painful tuck when you're like doing weights it's already painful as it is doing that you know my advice is wear something that maybe if you have like a bigger junk wear something a bit baggy so you can't see it um whatever again guys is whatever you feel comfortable with but i personally wouldn't tuck and 
At the end of the day, guys, if anyone saw my dick, I would just be like, fuck you, I don't give a fuck. Uh, okay, so, last question, guys. Honestly, you guys are so sexual, it's ridiculous. This is my most asked question. And I've... I guess you're right, I've been avoiding it a little bit, but I've kind of come to the realization, girl, why not? Just just say it, it doesn't matter anymore. Are you a top or a bottom? <laughs> Guys, um, I'm actually both. Um, I don't mind being a top and I don't mind being a bottom. Any of you watching this who has done anal sex would probably know, and that's probably, yeah, that's really blunt of me saying, I'm, do I'm just gonna get to it. Um, any of you that have done anal sex will probably know that it's quite an intense thing to do. So you have to be emotionally prepared for it, you have to be physically prepared for it, make sure you shave it all out, douche it all out, whatever. Um, so sometimes it's nice to just switch roles and just like not worry about going through all that, you know, stuff and I need to say, guys, I'm very comfortable with myself. I'm very comfortable with my body. I don't care about what I have in between my legs. Um, so why not put it to some good use, girl? You know, just do it. So yeah, that's the burning question over with. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have loved filming this video. It's been a lot of fun. Guys, if you're not yet, please, please, please follow me on Instagram. I will leave my name up here somewhere. I do not really use any other social networks um, other than Instagram. So if you want to message me or anything, then please follow me on Instagram. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Guys, I'll see you all next time. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Love you all and see you soon. Bye.